Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to warm up the studio and give a nice spice uh, welcome to my special guest. She is gorgeous. She is an amazing artist. And of course, uh, she's one of those artists that are going to be performing at the Tusker October Fest. I'm talking about Miss Karen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! Yeah. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you. Thank you for y- having me. You look amazing. Dude, it's been forever. It has been it's forever. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and of course, it's great to see you doing great things oh, and, uh, you. you know, doing the things that you love. Mm-hmm. I know Tusker is all about the good times and, of course, uh, you know, inspiring people to just, you know, live a little, have mm-hmm. a good time. Right. And uh, that's going to be going down uh, on the 5th and the 6th at the Tusker Oktoberfest. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be part of it. Yes. And I'm on the 5th at 7 p.m. Fantastic. Yes. We're going to be getting into that. But first, I want to get into your music. When I met you, mm-hmm. you were part of an amazing group that <laughs> disrupted the industry yeah. called Camp Mula. Yes. That was a couple of years ago. I was working somewhere else and I was a huge fan. And, uh, you know, I, I, I remember letting you sing live and I was like, oh my gosh, she's not just a recording artist. She's a performing artist. Right. And oh, she's, okay. she's, she's going to do some great things. Right. You know, you know, at that time I, I, I listened back and I, I feel like I was singing, singing terribly. No, no, no. To like, no. <laughs> I've done, I've put in some work. <laughs> look at you with a humility. And I will tell you, there's a lot of people who um, look up to you as their role model. Mm-hmm. Um, being on the continent, doing um, music. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people say, you know, the arts in, in Africa, how's that going to work? You know, right. being, being yeah. an artist. How has the journey been for you? I feel like, because I get that a lot, I feel like it's up to me to like prove that it can actually work. And yes. That's like my purpose at this point. Yeah. yeah. And you're doing a great job at it. Thank you. So you've transitioned to a solo artist. You have a successful career. Um, by all means, I mean, I, I stalk you on social media. <laughs> she says politely. <laughs> I do. I stalk people that I like. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, you're not just an artist. You're also a mom. Yes, I am. How is that balancing your career and uh, family life? You know, I find the challenge quite exciting. Yes. Because all the moms that I see on social media that are like balancing it, hustling, and they're just like shining and glowing. It just just makes me so happy to see people (laughs) doing the most. I know, right? And... uh, you know, the, the, the possibility of uh, having it all as mm-hmm. women is, yeah, is, exactly. is very real. Yep. I was looking at the lineup for the Tusker Oktoberfest, and there's going to be a lot of women performing as well, yeah. doing yeah. this thing and, yeah. uh, you know, killing it on team, yes. that stage. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that, uh, you know, you've got your management and your, you know, you, you're a very professional artist. Oh, thank you. Why are you, particularly in- <laughs> <laughs> Why are you particularly interested in performing at Tusker Oktoberfest? Um, first of all, it's been really good vibes, just yeah. the activations and just interacting with the team as we prepare for the gig. It's been really good vibes and it seems like it's, it's going to be a pretty big event. Yes. And um, I'm looking forward to having a festival with multiple stages like this and yes. different kinds of music. And um, my my friends, Valerie, Madoni and Fia are also performing. So yeah. it's going to be good vibes that day. Shout out to Fia and yeah. uh, Valerie, amazing performers on the continent. And I know that uh, mm-hmm. this sets the pace um, also to look at how corporates can support talent mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, on uh, platforms that actually matter exactly. and impact exactly. people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So I think this is great to Changing see you there. The game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I saw you there, I was like, oh my gosh, she is so, so, so talented. You, you have lots of music out there and uh, you like to uh, improv on, online as well on mm-hmm. your Instagram. You play live. You like to yeah, do that. Yeah, I like to loop and stuff. Yes, yeah, and your fans know it. Mm-hmm. So what songs um, would you say are your crowd's favorites? Definitely Glow Up that yes. I released earlier this year on the Beautiful. Power platform. Beautiful. And Roses. Yes. Which is going crazy in streaming platforms. Yes. yes. And there's actually a remix coming out soon of Fantastic. the Roses with a South African artist called Teleman. Nice. I know yes. Teleman. Yeah, Teleman is dope. He's been, uh, he had the song uh, My Girlfriend is a DJ. I don't know. Back in the day. Oh, for real? <laughs> yes. Oh, what? He's got a song. I need to catch up. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a really, really, really good research. song. Yeah, We're yeah, going to yeah. be getting into um, uh, the songs that you're performing and, mm-hmm. of course, uh, how music has been in terms of reaching the masses. And, of course, uh, talking more about Tusker Oktoberfest in just a bit. Live performance is a totally different thing. It is. And uh, there's people who would pay top dollar to watch an artist perform live rather than buying a record. And things right, are changing. Yeah, yeah. You're enjoying both worlds. You're enjoying uh, people accessing your music. Um, they're mm-hmm. streaming, and of course, I've seen you on different uh, 
uh, platforms. I've seen it on Spotify uh, and YouTube as well, I think. Music, everything, yeah. Yes. Um, how's that? What would you say um, we're winning? How, how, how are we doing as African artists? Are we, how are we faring? Do you think we should book more? Do you think we should put more of our music online? What's yeah, your take? Yeah, definitely. I feel like everyone's music, first of all, needs to be online because at this point you don't have an excuse. There's so many ways to put your music up for free, yes. for like a yearly payment on DistroKid. Um, yes. There's just ways to put your music everywhere and, and anyone in the world can find you. But also, in terms of live, I don't know if it's about booking artists more, but even having more kinds of stages. Yes. So that there's more options for different kinds of artists, different genres, different kinds of audiences as well. I hear you. Yeah. Because um, I've seen the lineup. Um, we've got Nushinsky there. We've got uh, uh, Calligraph Jones. You've got Sachi you. Soul. I would say you are diverse. So it's an right. experience for everybody. Everybody true, can true. get to sample what they like. True. Um, you're soulful, very intimate, I presume. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you enjoy an audience of different ages. You know, there's, there's yeah. people right here, you know, Team Spice, who are like, oh, shut up to Miss Karen. Um, I can see Natalie on my timeline here <laughs> on the hashtag Spice Drive saying, I love Miss Karen yeah. and my daughter too. Yeah. Awesome. Aww, we are the throwback yay. station. <laughs> so yeah. an artist that you like and your daughter likes. And of course, we get to bring you that experience right here on your drive show. Uh, playing now is uh, Brandy, an artist that I also think you remind me of. That's dope. You she's know, so amazing. And the, and the box braids, you brought that yeah, back. Yeah, she's been changing the game, just yes. being herself. Yeah. And she's I making a comeback this year and that's, that's she, pretty awesome. She's timeless. Of course she can. <laughs> Of course you can do that. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And, uh, you know, when we talk about fashion, one of the things that has, um, you know, made you stand out from, from, from lots of artists, I, in my opinion, is the fact that you are, um, you know, you represent a culture and a new vibe that uh, a lot of people uh, attribute to your style. Oh, you think? Absolutely. You've got an well, African the, element, a little yeah, bit of soul, yeah. a little bit of... Like new age. New age. New it's, funky it's just, street kids. You see, what is it? What is it? What it's is that name. It's called New Nairobi. And, and that's your style? They're trying to put a bunch of us in there. I don't know. Yeah. Because we're so diverse. I, I feel like it's not a genre. It's just like a... A, a thing, a, a lifestyle yeah, as yeah. well. Uh, I'll never be that cool. I but mean, I try. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was a track you put out the other day. I, I mean, did. A while back. And yeah. I was really liking that. So I, I was I was in my first trimester. Wrong move. Oh, um, really? Yes, yes, yes. I mm -hmm. just had my baby at the time. Um, but I think, you know, reinvention for artists. And that's why the music that we play on this station is all about artists that have stood the test of time. Right. There's artists that that's cannot dope. be played after, you know, they're, you know, top of the top of the charts for a week. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And uh, you represent the new wave, if I can call it that. Yep, uh, I'm being way. schooled. <laughs> you represent the new wave that has longevity. Um, is that your songwriting? Is it the production? Is it the fact that you put in so much in, you know, uh, performance, in your performances? I mean, I feel like that's up to the people who listen to decide. But I, I am super intentional with the people that I work with in terms of production and instrumentals, instrumentalists. Yes. I work with people who are different but very intentional. And the music is well thought out. It's not like a hit that I just want to come out tomorrow. Like this next project that I'm releasing yes. later this year, I have sat on that for a year just wow. so that I can get the right team to help me push it properly. So it's wow. like, I don't mind if my music doesn't come out tomorrow like i want it to actually be on the internet and last for as long as i want to sing for yeah and maybe after that even and i'll tell you that is very very um unlikely especially with artists today because it's all about you know that microwave studio like session fast fashion fast i need music. fast food fast <laughs> song fast everything and you know mm -hmm. that dictates the shelf life yep. and of course if you're streaming on uh, spicefm.co.ke you can get to see some of the music videos um that we get to play more than just a radio station more than just a radio show you can get to listen and and C. It is the first audiovisual radio station in the region. And of course, uh, you can uh, check us out in Nairobi on 94.4, Mombasa 87.9, Kisumu 102.5, Nakuru 96.0, Eldoret 96.7, Nyeri 90.9, and Malindi 97.6. It is the only way to get home. I've got uh, T bars, left eye, and chili with I ain't too proud to nice. beg. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so surprised <laughs> that, uh, you know, you've got a taste of the 90s. Dude, I do cover shows. And I'm always playing these 90s songs. Like, I love singing them. I love listening to them. It's, I love it's, it's that. It's completely me. Yeah. Where did the influence come from? <laughs> Just living. I think my aunt also, when I was really young, would, like, exposed me to a lot of music. So I'm, I still I still live there in my mind. And, yes. and in the future at the same time. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of people like me right here. And I yeah. like when, you know, you vibe with someone. Like, I could mm -hmm. dig out an old song and someone's like, what? How do you know that one? Well, mm -hmm. music that's good you know mm -hmm. can stand the test of time and you know you mm -hmm. get to pass that over and i know you're doing a great job at that